Hey, friends, you're going to draw a cornucopia. Yeah, a cornucopia is a basket used as decoration with food in it during Thanksgiving, and it usually represents a good harvest. We hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. You need your markers mm -hmm. and also some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We've drawn a cornucopia before in the past. It's a little more on the advanced side, so we thought it would be fun to draw an, a little more simple one and also a cartoon one with funny faces. We're going to use our marker paper to draw on because at the very end, we're coloring with markers. Now let's first start with drawing an apple. I'm going to draw it over here on the bottom left of my paper. So I'm going to draw a curve that comes down, kind of like we're going to draw a heart. Yes. And then we're going to draw another curve like that, like we're drawing a heart, but watch this. At the very bottom, I'm going to leave a little space. So we'll draw it wider at the bottom. If you're drawing a heart, it comes to a point. And then let's draw two little bumps at the bottom to connect those together. Then we can also, let's draw a stem coming out of our apple and also a leaf. I'm going to draw a small little leaf coming out and then back in. Now let's draw some corn. We're going to draw a curve coming out like this, and then I'm going to curve back around and into the apple. Then let's draw the leaf on our corn. I'm going to draw, or the husk, I'm going to draw an S curve coming out, and then we'll draw a little curve coming back in. Let's draw another S curve at the very bottom, or on the other side, and then we can draw that little curve back in. Now let's draw a pumpkin behind the apple. We're going to start right here and I'm going to draw a curve. Let's see, we'll come out of the corn right here. I'm going to come up high like this. We're going to come down and then I'm going to come back up and then back around and then underneath the apple. Yes. There you go. Good job. And then down and into the apple. Good job. That's a huge <laughs> pumpkin. I love it. Okay, now let's draw the stem. I'm going to draw a short line and then a longer line or a curve coming out to the left. And then we can connect those together. And then I'm going to add a little vine coming out of the stem. Cool. Okay, now let's add, oh, maybe plums or oranges. These could be just another fruit mm -hmm. or maybe even a potato. I'm going to draw a little curve here. And then maybe another one behind it, like this. We could also add little spiky leaves at the top. Oh, and also let's add grapes. I'm going to draw a little curve right here for one grape. We're drawing these behind our pumpkin and corn. So I'm going to draw a bunch of these. They look like half circles, but I'm going to stack them behind all of the other vegetables. Well, maybe they'll draw one full circle right here and then we can draw other ones next to it. Nice. Now we could also add a grape stem coming out of all of those grapes. We'll draw two curves coming out and then a curve connecting. And then let's also add maybe another leaf right here for the grape leaf. Cool. Now we're ready to draw the actual cornucopia or the basket. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a curve. We're going to draw kind of a rainbow line curve. Comes out like this around and I'm going to connect into the grapes. Then let's draw another curve that matches that just inside of the first one. Now the basket is really cool to draw. I'm going to first draw a curve that comes out like this. We're going to come down further and then I'm going to connect right into the grapes. So we're going to have this basket kind of curving around and we're also going to get smaller and smaller with each layer. So this one's shorter and then we're going to come down further like this. Let's do one more. I'm going to draw it a little smaller, but watch at the end of this one, I'm going to connect back in to the basket. Awesome. Now we're going to get even smaller. This one, I'm going to draw it kind of close to 
the curve right here, but down here at the bottom, I'm gonna get really small. Look at that, super small. <laughs> and then let's do another one that's even smaller. And even smaller, I'm gonna get even smaller. Look at this. Ah. And we're trying to curve around to make it like hook. So I'll keep drawing these layers so you can see what I'm getting at. And then the last one I'm gonna just do like that. So you got it getting smaller and smaller and also curving at the same time. Hadley, we did it, we finished. Well, we're not completely done. What is our food missing? A funny face. Yes, a funny face. Let's add one to each of the food items in our drawing. Now you could even add funny faces to each of the grapes. I might leave that off. <laughs> <laughs> but let's fast forward this part. Our art friends can pause the video and take time to add funny faces to their drawing. You ready to fast forward? Mm -hmm. Holly, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cornucopia. It looks so much better all colored in. Yeah. I also really like our funny faces, and I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings and add even more fruit and vegetables to their drawings. You can even add leaves. You could also even maybe draw a kid in the background getting ready to eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing a cornucopia. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.